Hey guys, welcome to Aptcode. In this tutorial, we are going to look at mocks in unit testing, right? So first, I wanted to show you an article which is from Martin Fowler, which is very important and very uh, informative one, right? So if we uh, look at the specific words, there are several words in unit testing space uh, with regard to mocks right so we have something called dummies then fakes stubs spies mocks right so uh, if you look at this dummy uh, it basically things that we are using to pass uh, into methods just for filling parameters right uh, if we take a look at fakes, fakes are objects that actually there's no implementation, right? For example, in memory de test database, which is just a fake uh, with no implementation, just, just fake it. The method will be fake. So there is something else called stubs, right? So stubs is basically canned results, right? So canned answers. Uh, so, for example, if we uh, specify a factorial stub, right? So, we know 1 is 1. So, 2 is then 2. Likewise, it uh, it holds can set of answers and it can provide to specific scenarios where we uh, pass the correct input, right? So, uh, there's another thing called spice. Spice are uh, something... You know, uh, when we need to spy on something, uh, what are the method get called? Uh, what are the method uh, get called with which parameters? Kind of stuffs uh, we can understand by spice, right? So uh, next thing is mocks, uh, which is we are gonna cover in this tutorial. Uh, mocks are pre-programmed with expectations uh, which form specification of the calls they are expected to receive right so basically we can mock a particular uh, methods and we can verify that the the methods get called uh, with specific or specified values right so that kind of uh, things we call mocks right so there are dummies face tabs spice and mocks so in this tutorial we are going to cover dummies and mocks uh, for do that we are using something called mockito if you haven't heard it, heard about it so it's a, a mocking framework for unit test in java and obviously we can use it in uh, other jvm languages with with a slight uh, customization or the workarounds right so uh, let's write a sample program uh, to cover these uh, mocks and dummy uh, things right so uh, in the last episode we cover the alloy reporting and here we are gonna use uh, mockito mocks right so i'm gonna uh, create a dependency which is i'll go to the my favorite plugin called maven dependency searcher yeah, we can use mockito co right this is the library we need to get so you can get it by central of mockito mockito co and you can copy it directly and paste it yeah and next thing we need to uh, uh, uh extension which uh, supports mockito to work with JUnit, right? So again, we can press Ctrl Alt R uh, to get Maven dependency searcher and okay to JUnit. That's enough, right? So search and we can get this one, this one, right? Uh, Org Mokito Mokito JUnit Jupyter. This is the dependency we need, right? So let's get that. Okay, so. Uh, we have done some mistakes in the earlier tutorials because we haven't specified the scope so I'm gonna just fix it now so this one should be the scope of the mockito as well okay. 
right so let's click import changes okay so uh, what i'm gonna do is uh, i'm gonna test a system uh, spec uh, i'm not going to implement actually system but uh, uh, concept of a notification system right so uh, let's create so I'm planning to have something called reminder service and uh, there will be a method called remind that right so I need to you know uh, send a notification to uh, some user uh, by different methods uh, it may be an email or it may be a push notification right so uh, I don't know actually the implementation right now so first I'm going to write the test case which is a failing test case in a TDD approach as we talked in the our first uh, episode of this series uh, we will write a first test case void remind at test right so this is the test method so let's have our test and we can actually remove the public uh, modifier with the class because we are using jnet file and next we can we should have this at extend with annotation because we are using mokito mokito extension dot class right that's how we use the uh, extensions with a JNet file so there are several extensions uh, for different different frameworks but here in we use Mockit extension right so uh, there will be a class called reminder service right and it should get something called notifier right that's the interface of the contract that reminder service uses to pass the notification uh, whether via email or push notification right so let's have a notifier something called notifier, notifier right so this will be the mock right because we are we cannot actually use the email system or push notification right in the unit test actually it will be an integration test if we have used that one so in here we need to use something called uh, you know uh, interface and that we can mock out so we can uh, mimic the behavior of the email notifier or the push notifier right that's the idea so let's create the uh, interface called notification in the notification package called notifier right so let's have the method i'm supposing a method called int notify and i'll send a user id in a string message so this is basically the notify right now we need to have something called notif reminder service which takes the notifier dependence right okay so right so we can actually you know bind this uh, notifier into field by clicking alt enter and create create field parameter for notify right so we have typo here okay let's change it we can actually mark this as private final right so this is the basic stuff so we have a notifier and reminders office right so let's add our two uh, implementation of the notifier email notifier and it should implements notifier right Okay, and we should have something called push notifier, right? That should also implement the notifier interface. 
right okay so this is the basically two implementations where we have use id and it sends the message and return a status message uh, status call right so this is the implementation so i'm not going to implement the actual implementation this is you know just a, a placeholder to implement that so anyway we cannot use email notifier or push notifier in the test scope that's why we have this notifier and interface notify interface and we should mock that right so let's create this reminder service first and we can use at mock annotation which is come from org.mock to mock this one right so this is basically a mock notifier is a mock and we, we have passed the reminder size so we this is you know if you heard about uh, three years of unit testing this is the arrange part right now we need to act right so uh, that should contain a method called remind right we need to pass you know some string to uh, user id and test message and uh, a time right i'll have local date time dot now plus seconds first okay this is the method i need to have so this is will be the active right so now we need to create this method we don't have that method right so let's create that method and this will be the use id and this will be the message and this will be the time right okay i don't have the implementation right now and next we need to assert right now we have this uh, notifier and we have reminded it that for this user this message after five seconds of the execution right so let's assert that one to assert in mockito mock we have to use something called verify method right this is we can statically import it's come from mockito dot verify right so we can pass mock as the first argument and the verification mode as the second argument right so let's pass the mock which is the notifier and we are executing this after five seconds of the remind that method right so to that to uh, you know wait that kind of uh, amount we can use timeout method which is from the mockito right so let's dura use duration durations of second we can put six and at least okay so next we need to you know how many times the method get method should get caught right so at least one what's the method it's the notify method right so as you see in the this explanation uh, expected to receive the method call expected to receive is the notify right because uh, in the reminder service inside of remind that method notifier notify method should get call right that's the whole line right so in here we cannot actually use this value exactly because uh, it uh, you know uh, it complains about it's not a mock right so we need to use something called eq method to pass same thing uh, which is argument method eq right and we need to pass the this thing as well right okay let's add this one right okay now we are all good so let's try this one and this should get fail because we haven't implemented the remind that method right 
so it waits six seconds uh, to check that notify method get called not so we didn't got that one because uh, it was not in knock that's obvious right so let's implement the implementation uh, I am going to use something called scheduler executor service to delay uh, execution of the remind that method I'm using new single thread schedules execute right so let's have scheduled schedule so we need to have runnable here which is notifier dot notify user ID and the message right okay now time we need to pass delay so let's use duration but between uh, no because we need to execute it after uh, and time right so different between now and the time give so let's use two seconds okay now i think we have the implementation so let's have uh, auto closable to close the scheduler okay. Okay, we can actually use try catch try with resources if you want We can remove the execution action. Okay, nice. So let's try it again. Okay, we got a uh, test passed, right? So this is, you know, a basic uh, mock usage in the mockito and the jagunit right so we have notifier which is mocked and it has two implementations so we are not interested in those implementation in our unit test we are just interested that the reminder service uh, testing the remind that method right so here we have used these two these are the dummies uh, as according to this article from the martin Fowler, right so and and uh, we assert that uh, this uh, notify notify method get called after six second uh, i add one second because the you know slight changes there will be uh, and and the message exact message so this is it for this episode guys so if you like the video please uh, press the like button and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already and put the your ideas and the requirements in the comment section so bye bye guys uh, we'll see you at the next episode of this series